Hello everybody, welcome back to the Master Ranch. We do a little bath video today. We got a friend, the one and only Miss Diva Sandy here in the bathtub getting her bath, you can tell. She's not real happy about that. We saved you guys the scene of us fighting the quarter in there. Usually once she's in the tub, she'll stand. We have our ex-groomer friend, Vera, here to help us today. She's gonna kinda share a few pointers with you. I know some of you guys have got dogs that don't like to get in the baths. A couple things you can do, you know, start them out as puppies, obviously. But if you have one of the older ones, like a rescue, um, a lot of times if I have one that's really hard, I'll actually take and put peanut butter on the inside of the tub and let them lick it. And they'll stay in there and lick it until it's gone while you're bathing them. You don't want to use straight cold water. Keep it kind of lukewarm. There's no sense to feel like you can actually burn them. I personally don't like to use soaps, um, anything that has like a detergent type soap in it. Just find it dries their skin out too much. So we use Tropiclean here. They have some pretty good ones. But I'm going to let Vera kind of walk you through here. She says, uh uh. But you just basically, once your dog is wet, we just lather them up really well. And it takes a little bit. It's obviously with a big dog, Sandra, she weighs about 182 pounds right now. And you can see she has this just terrible look of defeat. This is why we call her the diva. She does not like water. She'll uh, go out of her way to avoid mud puddles even. But uh, this is the stuff that we're using today. Just drop a clean lime and coconut oil. They make a couple of really nice ones um, for new rescues. They have a deodorizing one that works really good. It helps get some of the stink out of them. Like I say, um, you might need to add a little extra water after you start lathering them up just to kind of get it to suds up a little bit. But take your time and scrub it in. You know, make sure you get it, get the dog covered fully all the way around. She just looks so abused, doesn't she? But you can see here how she's got it all subbed up good. Now she's got a washcloth, and I believe that's what she's going to use to wash her head and her face with. This just a little, little trick. Even though the stuff we use is safe for their eyes. One thing you guys that have masks will notice on their chins down here. Certain ages they start getting little pimples. Looks like little pus pockets. Um, keeping them clean. Apple cider vinegar wipes helps keep that down. Um, if they start getting real bad, you can also use uh, witch hazel to dry them up. Like I say, you know, it's just a matter of taking your time and getting them clean. And oh yeah, you're gonna get hairballs. <laughs> That's the thing, you know, a lot bigger dog. Even though they don't really shed a lot, there's just a lot more dog, a lot more hair. Anything we're missing, Vera? Now, when you guys are rinsing them, you want to make sure you get all the soap rinsed out of them. Even though this doesn't contain soap. Again, it kind of goes with our theme around here. We don't like to use a lot of chemical stuff if we can help it. Um, you guys that use topical flea treatments, um, most of them come with directions, make sure you read that. Some of them you can wash a dog 72 hours later, some of them you got to wait a couple weeks. You can actually over bathe a dog, believe it or not. Um, you can dry their skin out, dry the oils out. Myself, I like to do them at least once a month if possible, um, twice a month is probably ideal. 
As you can see, these guys have been out playing in the dirt, so they're dirty and grimy. So it's time. Look, <laughs> Miss Sandy. You just look so defeated. Are you defeated? Are you not happy with the bat day? Come on, big girl. Normally, she's lifting her paws up because she doesn't want them in the water. He's down here and get up. Clean the rain out, Sandy. You get the rain out already again. But since we've worked with her since she was just a baby, she's pretty good about standing in the tub here. Even though she doesn't care for it. It's really not too bad, guys. I mean. <laughs> It does, you know, when you have seven or eight dogs hanging around, it needs to be a long day when it's bath day, but. Hey, say just make sure you take your time, get it all, the suds rinsed off them really well. And then when you're, another thing when you're drying them, guys, make sure you dry around their ears, dry kind of inside your ears. Any of that added moisture can lead to more ear infections. So there you go, I mean that's bath 101, pretty simple stuff. Um, like I say, try to avoid using the really soapy stuff. You have a dog that's got fleas on them, uh, Dawn dish detergent, the blue Dawn dish detergent works really good to help break them up. And then you can use your uh, topicals or your spray, whatever you, whatever you use. Um, Damascus Earth works really good for flea control. But that's it, you know, big dog, so prepared when they shake, they're going to get water all over everything. So, the joys of living with a mastiff, you know, you're going to have to deal with it. Water, slobber, hair. But like I say, guys, you know, if you have one that is a little bit uh, afraid of water, treats help. Um, putting peanut butter on the tub helps. Don't put it on the outside of the tub, obviously, put it on the farthest side away. Keep the water just lukewarm. Doesn't need to be cold, doesn't need to be hot. <laughs> she's off she's, I'm done with that but that's it guys um, anything you think we need to cover or we haven't covered yet let us know and we'll be glad to get to it thanks a lot for tuning in